class action lawsuit has now been filed on behalf of homeowners affected by the attics and the Barker Reservoir releases. The Raisner law firm claims that the properties would not have flooded if not for the intentional releases from those reservoirs. The firm says more than 1,000 affected families have called with concerns. About 80 percent of property owners do not have flood insurance. Hours after that lawsuit was announced, a different meeting where flood victims had a chance to seek more legal advice. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil joining us live on Houston's West Side tonight, where she's been talking to families whose homes were impacted by this. Sophia. Well, Bill and Dominique, for many people who live on this side of town, their homes are still underwater. And I want to give you some perspective. So this is the Beltway at Kimberly Lane, and it is still very much a pool. To give you an idea, the... Uh, the height of this right here, six feet, six inches. And you can see the water almost touches the bridge here. So many people are now wanting to know what are their legal options. In a room packed with people from different backgrounds, they all have the same story. Their homes are still flooded. We're trying to figure out what our options are, where do we go from here. Garland Robinson and his neighbors from Memorial Thicket were one of hundreds who attended an informational meeting with high profile attorney Tony Busby. But property owners are contacting lawyers left and right. It's just devastating. Uh, the home is, I'd say, maybe a total loss. Eugene's property, which is south of Gessner between Briar Force and Memorial Drive, still has water in it. This just turned people's lives upside down. Federal engineers say the controlled releases from the attics and Barker reservoirs were necessary to protect the dams and prevent catastrophic damage. But Eugene's attorney says if that's the case, then the government should cover the costs. In our lawsuit, we are not complaining that the Army Corps of Engineers did anything wrong. Uh, but what we are saying is once they made the deliberate decision to open the floodgates on the Barker and Attics reservoirs, uh, that they have a duty to compensate the landowners downstream. But even as people turn to lawyers, it doesn't take away the frustration and numerous questions many people have. And how they sacrifice our subdivision in total, 158 homes, for supposedly the good of the entire city. And it's just, it's just not right, it's not fair. We did reach out to the U.S. Corps of Engineers for a comment. They declined to do so and instead referenced us to the U.S. Justice Department. Now, Dominique and Bill, I'm not a lawyer, uh, unless you all have a, lawyer, a law degree that I'm not aware of. Uh, I know a lot of people are asking us specific questions. Our best advice is to contact an attorney because everybody's situation is different when it comes to insurance and what exactly they want to do when it comes to uh, going through with litigation. So, again, contact an attorney. We have more information on our website, click to Houston. Dot com. Reporting live from West Houston, Sophia Boslake, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sophia, you're right. We are not lawyers, and this may be after the fact, but we've been preaching for years and years that everybody in this area must have flood insurance. It's very inexpensive, mm. and I don't care where you live, you can flood in the Houston area. That we just learned. Yep.